Greatest Misconception Number 9 The Ku Klux Klan Hood If one were to look at this image, the first thing they might think of would be the Ku Klux Klan. But in fact, that's not who these people are at all. These are the Nazarenos, and they are celebrating Holy Week in Spain. Holy Week is the week before Easter and is important in Christianity for commemorating the last week of earthly life of Jesus Christ before his crucifixion on Good Friday. Some of the most elaborate processions for Holy Week in the world are conducted in Spain, and in particular, Seville. Participants will wear a robe called a Nazareno and a hood called a caparote to conceal the face of the wearer. This is done to mask their identity while they demonstrate their penance. They would carry candles and sometimes walk barefoot or carry shackles as a penance. To those unfamiliar with Holy Week, especially to those in America, the two costumes are easily confused for each other. However, there are some distinct differences to easily tell them apart. The pointed peak of the hood of the caparote is much taller and greatly resembles a wizard's hat. The Ku Klux Klan hood is much shorter and usually has a break near the temple to lift the mask above the wearer's face. Nazareno costumes are also much more varied and ornately designed. And of course, the insignia is also different. Whether the Caparote influenced the Ku Klux Klan outfits is unclear. It is true that these celebrations had been conducted for hundreds of years before the Ku Klux Klan ever existed. Early Ku Klux Klan outfits were rather bizarre and didn't have any standard appearance. It is speculated that the white robes were originally intended to represent the ghosts of Confederate troops in the American Civil War. The white would also represent the white race, and the pointed hood also resembles a medieval executioner's hood. Ironically, while the two costumes are similar, the Nazarenos are Catholics celebrating Holy Week, while the Ku Klux Klan is an anti-Catholic hate group. So now you know better, and that was Enigma Hood's Greatest Misconceptions. If you have future ideas for misconceptions, let me know.